Welcome, students, to the beginning of a new day. I will remind everyone that the assembly will be next week during your third period. And also, our basketball game is today at 7 p.m., so make sure to visit. By the way, I will say right now that locker number 79 should not be touched at all times, and the student that was assigned that locker has been moved to a different one. We appreciate the concerns regarding this incident. Now that everything is out of the way, may you all have a good day. Ha <laughs> I rhyme. That's weird. What happened? That was new. Anyways, I have to go to the copy room and get papers for you all. I will be back shortly. Don't cause any ruckus in my class while I'm gone. Please and thank you. Don't you find it strange that the locker hasn't been assigned to anyone? I wonder what has been happening with that, especially with the person involved. I say don't worry about it. Personally, I don't think it's any of our business, and I don't think you should be surprised. This has happened once every year for four years so far. I'm going to ignore it. We can't really do much anyway. And that just proves my point. Nothing is being done about it. The principal just keeps it locked up and doesn't do much. Whoever gets assigned the locker is never even revealed. Amber, can we not do this right now? It's early and I don't want to deal with this crap. Drop it! But you can't deny that I'm right, Ro. It's strange. I know this happens every year, but they never tell us anything. I said, drop it and don't talk about it for the rest of the day. <sighs> Fine. All right, class, now that I have the papers, we can begin class. Everyone take out your textbooks and turn to page 79. Honestly, I don't get how you put up with that teacher. I know! This sub is really annoying. I'm just glad I don't have to have her tomorrow. You do know that she says she was going to be gone for two days, not one. Oh, dang it. I thought for sure she was going to be gone. Sadly, no. I guess she just wanted to stick around for an extra day just to annoy y'all. Anyway, I've been wanting to know if any of you got info about that locker situation thing. Amber, we talked about this. I specifically said that you shouldn't bring it up the whole day today. I literally said that this morning. Why can't you just let it go? I'm just curious, alright? Why can't you let me say what I want? <sighs> just don't talk about it. That's all I'm asking. No, wait. What are you talking about? Great. Now you've made Dan intrigued. Whatever. I'll still tell him about it. Just tell me already. We don't have all day. You know, this is none of our business like I said to you in the first place. No, let her talk. It's important if I should know too. Besides, what would really happen if I never knew and something suddenly happened? You can't run to me for help because I wouldn't know what was going on. We could always just tell you very quickly and we wouldn't have to worry. So, basically, there's this locker, particularly number 79, that somehow has been having weird incidents and stuff. Unlike Roselle, I want to check it out because it sounds... odd. Odd? Is that the only reason? Yeah, I want to see why it's weird. I want to see how this locker became the way it is. Are you with me, Dan? I guess. I can't leave you alone, after all. If you're really going to do this, at least know that no student has been assigned to that locker, and if they have, they've been removed from that locker. So, we can't ask any other person what they know about it. But, we could ask the last person who was assigned. But we don't even know who that person is, Amber. The principal doesn't reveal who it is every year so far. And we can't just go around and ask a thousand or so people in this school if they got Locker 79. I mean... No. Alright, jeez. Also, have you heard about the supernatural rumor? I thought they were pretty cool. You're joking. How would any of this stuff be cool? By the way this is being described, I don't think any 
Oh, this is cool. <gasps> I knew you would think that. I'm talking about the things that potentially happen at night at this school. They're saying how some random student traverses the halls and refuses to leave. Wasn't it proven false by one of the janitors? It was? Yeah, he overheard someone's conversation. He then proceeded to stay at the school to clean up instead of going home. Maybe we should stop talking about this. Every single part of this conversation is just bullcrap. If you guys are really going to do something about this, count me out. I never said we were- No, just leave me out of it. Goodbye. I hate how I'll have this class with you both. I really do. Why? I thought you loved it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did until you brought the stupid locker rumors and started to annoy me with it. You should have said something then! <laughs> I, I did! But did you listen? No, you didn't! We're sorry, but you should really come with us in the investigation. You'd be a massive help. I already told y'all, I do not want to go with you. I know how this will turn out and it won't be good. How do you know? I just have a gut feeling. Oh, come on, Roselle. It'll be fun. It'll be like being in a horror movie. How would you know? Actually, never mind that. I, I don't want to know. Y you don't have to explain it to me. Anyway, we really need to have you with us if we want it to go well. You're smart, so it'll only make sense. <sighs> Fine. Only if it'll make you both shut up about it for a while. I don't want to be bugged about this for the rest of the day. Since you agreed, we promise. Right, Amber? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go ask the teacher something. Alright. Hey, Ro. How was school today? It... was fine. You sure? Your tone says otherwise. Um... Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Don't worry. Ro, you can tell us anything. If anything is bothering you, we're here for you. I promise. And don't worry about us being angry with you. We care about you, and we're willing to listen. I... fine. There's, a uh, this rumor at school, right? About students doing stuff at night. You know, in, in a locker or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, my friends, they want me to go with them to check it out. I, uh, I said I'd go. I don't think you should go. That can get you in trouble. Not only with the school, but with us too for breaking the law. And he doesn't mean that in a bad way. We'd hate to punish you. You're a good kid, but you don't need to do it. Okay. I won't. Good. Now to tell them. Oh, God, I just can't get out of this one, can I? Okay. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Mom, Dad. Alright. I'm here. About time! I was afraid you were gonna chicken out! How do you suppose we'd get in? I assume the doors are locked, yes? Right, yeah, they are. Is breaking and entering on the table? <laughs> uh, probably not, no. See, I told you guys this isn't smart. Yeah, okay. I think they leave some windows unlocked for whatever reason, so I'm sure we can get in through one. In fact, I see one over there. Cool, let's go in. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Hey, it's alright, Ro. It's just a locker after all. Right, yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe you're right. That's the spirit! Wait, where's Dan? He's not here? No, I think he must have wandered off because, well, he's Dan. He's probably trying to find the locker or something. Ah, uh, crap, uh... Dan! Where are you? Dan! Come out here! God, we shouldn't have done this. Now Dan is missing! 
Hey, you agreed to this. Oh, so it's my fault now? If you never would have started this stupid idea, then we wouldn't have been caught up in this situation. And if you didn't agree, then we wouldn't be here. Yeah, right? You and Dan would have been stupid enough to go forward with it regardless. I'm not stupid. I'm just curious. Same with Dan. At least I had common sense and not want to do this. Okay, okay, let's stop arguing and look for Dan. Sitting around here throwing insults at each other isn't going to help. Fine. Excuse me? Nothing. Just thinking to myself. Are you sure? Yes! Okay, okay, jeez. Amber, how about you leave me alone for a bit? But- No buts. I'm just asking and I won't ask or say it again. Fine. Rosella's right. I should have never done this. I never should have brought this up. Gosh, why am I so stupid sometimes? Now it's my fault he's missing. Where did you go, Dan? I miss you. Huh? What was that? And I wonder how they still put up with each other. It's confusing to me. It, it can't be. Is that... Dan! There you are! We were so worried! Oh, there you are. Wait, are you crying? What's wrong? Um, me and Roselle, we... We got into an argument. They're really mad at me for, uh, starting this whole thing. Ah, maybe they were just stressed. I don't know. I'm sorry for wandering off. I must have spaced out. It's... It's okay. I think Rizal's coming over here. There you guys are. We should leave now. Yeah, sounds good. What was that? Hmm? What are you talking about? I could have sworn I just saw something. <sighs> Dan, don't do this right now. I want to get out of here already. No, no. I'll just investigate real quick. How about you not do that? If you saw something you're unsure about, maybe you shouldn't go near it at all, okay? I promise I'll be okay. Don't scare me with this crap, Dan! If we get trapped in here, I'm going to blame it all on you! Shut up, Roselle! You said that way too many times already! I'm just telling the truth. That's all. Be quiet. I know what I'm doing. Excuse me? Roselle, just let him do what he wants at this point. And let him go crazy? Are you kidding me? For the last time, he's not gonna get possessed, you idiot. Just get me out of this damn place already. I can't take it. Just how can I stand you? But here we are. You always have to turn things into big deals. This is a big deal. Can't you see what's happening? Dan is about to walk towards a thing, not knowing what's about to happen. I hope you know the locker is right there. For all I know, he could be looking at that. Can you two shut up? I can't believe I found it. Let's see what's inside. 